Kathleen, when, when, when men uh, and their families come to see you for evaluation, do you, are, are you involved at all in the, um, the treatment diagnosis as far as the decision making? Like, what do I do next? And, uh, you know, what kind of treatment should I consider? And do you, do you kind of help them weigh the pros and cons a little bit? Or, or is, that, is that not something you typically deal with? So no, that is uh, very common, especially with prostate cancer, because um, there are options. And um, so many people with a medical decision don't expect to come in and hear, well, you could do this and you could do this. And there are reasonable options and there's some choices here. And so they're kind of overwhelmed with that. It's mm -hmm. uh, Some of the other medical issues they might have had, somebody might say, well, this is the treatment. And But with cancer, especially with prostate cancer, frequently. Frequently they have options and that's overwhelming. So I do let them talk about it and go through and weigh the pros and cons of each option, you know, radiation, surgery, hormone therapy, any other option that's available to them and just let them talk about it and then um, work through any additional questions that maybe uh, the oncologist or uh, surgeon or um, medical staff haven't been able to answer fully so that they can go back again and ask more questions. So some I might be able to answer, but often um, hearing all of that at one sitting and some or some one afternoon or one day, uh, they need to go back. And I let people know that don't be afraid to go back and write down questions and ask until you understand fully and until you really feel comfortable in making a decision or choice. Yeah, I, you know, I find a lot of times when counseling a newly diagnosed patient with prostate cancer that no matter how much of a discussion you have on your initial discussion, it's never enough. Right. And the discussion never, ever goes beyond the today. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think that that's one of the things that I, I think a, 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 either a true men's health clinic or the uh, adjunctive services of, of a psychological evaluation would be very beneficial to assess for uh, the significant anxiety, depression they may be experiencing either in the pre-morbid or pre-diagnostic state or the post-diagnostic state yeah. so that they can actually be monitored to make sure that they're actually on the on course and through that journey of care and treatment that they, they kind of stay on course uh, on the same mental status as, as supported as their physical status, that holistic care. Mm -hmm.